the PWCI this week on the Mac Conservative Cry Fire. Wow, we were supposed to have a tag team match and we got an air push. What is going on here? Ambushing before they even make it to the ring, but we're underway. Kyle Kincaid in the ring with Stephen Bishop, the now former Pitfall Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, Regional Champion. It's Adrian Angel, who is not a professional wrestler. Both Dean taunting Bishop. Adrian Angel, not a wrestler. It's the owner of uh, George Rank's Bar and Grill on 6th Street in Laurel. And this is the one time a year that he gets in the ring, but I have not make it to the ring for tonight. And wrestling for a cure as Bogey with a lariat on Bishop. Cock and Cade, who is an afternoon host on 99.7 FM, Kiss FM, in Springfield. Of course, he also uses the name Kyle Fields at times. If you can remember last year's Wrestling for a Cure, he was eliminated from the Royal Rumble and then paid to enter it like five times. I mean, that was just ridiculous and then he ended up winning. That is not gonna be allowed this year, but good grief, it's just so stupid. Kincaid comes right back in, drops the elbow. Being a Springfield resident, I'm surprised he hasn't wrestled for pitfall wrestling in Springfield. He uh, also does a, well, he's a stand-up comedian, kind of a wrestling and comedy act that goes on tour. Bishop with a roll-up on Kincaid. Almost pinned him with that side headlock. Kincaid maintained the side headlock on Stephen Bishop. Gonna shoot him off into the ropes. Hip toss, sit out. Only a two count. And Kincaid rolling over to both Dean to tag back in. In the next segment, we will have a triple threat match for the Rocket Pro Wrestling Heavyweight title. Of course, there's so much chaos going now, I just really haven't been able to talk out, talk a lot about what's going on around here lately. Bishop sent into the corner. And Tyler Bodine as Adrian Angel being treated off to the side. And now, Adrian Angel, with his arm wrapped up, comes charging in with that bull rope. And Bishop, flying body tackle, and Adrian Angel wants in there. He really wants in there. After uh, his arm's been damaged. And now, Kyle Kincaid in the ring. And Adrian Angel, Stumbles in, tackles Kincaid with that one arm. The left arm is all taped up. And all he can do is throw 
close lines. Tried to spear a Bodine and managed to knock him out of the ring and Adrian Angel wise, wisely tags out back to Bishop. Now he's able to regroup. And Kid K with a kick. Good for the DDT, blocked. And Look at Adrian Angel with that cowbell. Nails Bodine as Kyle Kikad has to tap out to the sickle hold. Bishop and Kikad, or Adrian Angel, victorious after being ambushed. They win it in four minutes and 40 seconds. Well, Adrian Angel, I think, wanted to do a lot more than he was able to. Well, Bodine and Kincaid serves them right how they started this match. So just played it straight and this might have been a lot more of a competitive affair, but they won the cheap, quick kill, easy victory, and it backfired, thankfully. Adrian Angel damaged left arm. But they're gonna get out of here with the victory. All right, we're gonna take a look at the weekend schedule. I have stuff to rant about, too. We'll have a triple threat for the Rocket Pro Wrestling Heavyweight title right after this. This is for the Rocket Pro Wrestling Heavyweight title. And first up, our first look at Just Amazing. Company to the ring by K.O. Kendra. But these uh, individuals are out of the Chicago region. This is their first voyage down to Central Illinois. And our first look at them here on the program. Just amazing with the moonsault into the ring. So we have our guest ring announcer. Pounds, former TNA Impact Superstar. Monster Rocket. Alright. Well this gentleman we're definitely familiar with. Marche Rocket, who's been a uh, Major figure in the Chicago wrestling scene for many years. Former Dreamwave heavyweight champion. Challenges today for the Rocket Pro Wrestling heavyweight title. Marche has, has a few things to say here. 
does want the microphone. Put some flair into it. That was more like an angry uh, introduction. Wow, Marche with a quite a different attitude coming into Springfield. It's been one of the most popular wrestlers out of the Chicago area for the longest time, but he's got a completely different attitude tonight. And here comes the champ, the Shogun Chris Logan, and that, this will be our first look at Logan. A couple of first time uh, visuals tonight. Now, when is Rocket Pro Wrestling going to be in action again? Rocket Pro Wrestling will, their next show will be October the 2nd in J St. Joseph Park in Joliet, Illinois. So they are a Northern promotion, Northern Illinois promotion out of Joliet in St. Joseph Park. I believe it's gonna be outside. The event will be outside, apparently. I don't know that for sure, but we're just making an assumption it will be based on uh, some of the stuff they have planned. Now, let me get to something here. Joe Biden, my gosh. Talk about a power tripper who is cascading towards total fas total fascism, totalitarian socialist dictatorship. Man who has severe dementia, deliberately lost the war of Afghanistan, handed the country back to the Taliban and made it the most armed terrorist organization in the world. Bell off to a fan. All right. All right, here we go. We're going to get this underway. <laughs> Joe Biden wants to force everybody to take some vaccination, but that is not going to happen. I will not, absolutely will not comply by any mandate by this severe dementia president who is nothing more than a paper tiger. The Taliban can walk all over Joe Biden. Everybody in the country can as well. So make me, Joe Biden, you fake phony president. You should be in a nursing home at this point. You came and functioned. You're weak and pathetic. And you have somebody else calling all the shots because you are, don't know what the heck day of the week it is. Screw you. You're disgusting. 
sorry excuse for president who probably won by fraud. Anyway, Chris Logan, belly to belly, takes down just amazing as Marche Rocket was dispatched to the outside. So this is for the Rocket Pro Wrestling Heavyweight title. Rocket Pro Wrestling is based out of Joliet, Illinois. Their next event will be October the 2nd at St. Joseph Park. For a Halloween themed show. Back body dropping. Amazing landed on his feet. Flying head scissors. Impressive moves there. And Chris Logan, belly to belly, just hurls him over his head. Here comes Marche, nails him in the back of the head. This weekend, Pitfall Wrestling Association at the A Street Gym in Springfield. Well, I thought the show would be moved outside due to the stupid, all those stupid mandates being reinstated, but there's no enforcement mechanism for anything. So for the time being, it's gonna be inside still. Pitfall Wrestling Association at the 8th Street Gym. On the 18th, Supreme League of Wrestling. Actually, 0-1 Supreme. September 18th at the Burgess Osborne Auditorium in Mattoon. Been a long time since they've wrestled in that venue due to COVID. They've been wrestling their events down in Noble, Illinois. They did have an event over in Decatur just a couple of weeks ago. Since for the Irish whip, Logan went for the belly to belly and Logan shot into just amazing missile drop kick but Marche with a drop kick of his own and Marche not endearing himself to the fans of Springfield Illinois there's a cover two and then a two count Southern Illinois Championship Wrestling in East Carindell at the Community Center on the 18th that's the show's happening this weekend big chop by Marche the following weekend Piffle Wrestling in Beardstown, Illinois for the Fall Fun Festival right outside West Central Bank at 6 o'clock. That will definitely be outside. St. Louis Anarchy on Friday the 24th in Granite City, Illinois. American Championship Wrestling in Washington, Missouri at the Swine Pavilion on the 25th. Marche sends amazing flying cross body. And Logan back in the ring, chopping the corner on just amazing. Dymo Pro Wrestling in St. Louis at the Concordia Turner's Gym. New Way Pro in Terre Haute, Indiana at the National Guard Armory. Here comes just amazing. Drops it face first, goes for the cover to cap. Southland Championship Wrestling in Chemonix, Illinois at the Civic Center on the 25th. United Wrestling Coalition at the Homer Opera House also on the 25th. Last weekend of September, quite busy. Splash in the corner. Charges in. Nobody home. Marche, side suplex, drops him on the back. The debut of Bittersweet Pro will be on October the 2nd in Riverton, Illinois at the Knights of Columbus Hall. Marche Rocket comes back in. Nails. Chris Logan, the Shogun. Choke on the ropes. Actually, it's the called the Marion Banquet Hall, but I believe the building is still the Knights of Columbus Hall. Snap suplex on amazing. And Marche talking trash. When did, when did Marche Rocket have a change in attitude? I mean, seriously. 
don't know what the deal is with him lately. Logan fires at Marche. Forearm shots to the face. By the way, that event might be outside. I don't know. I don't, the building just doesn't look that tall to me, but maybe looks can be deceiving on the outside. That's just amazing. Nails. Marche, big spine buster. So the Knights of Columbus Hall on October the 2nd in Riverton. It's been a mess. Side suplex by Chris Logan. And of course, Pitfall Wrestling, October 9th, with a big special guest, Kevin Nash. Tell you the truth, I'm going to have to do a new crimey editorial report show sometime in the near future. I just have too many irons in the fire and just can't dedicate any time to uh, putting the material together to rent for half an hour on something that isn't about pro wrestling. I mean, I can't really dedicate the time to PWCI this week for that ranting It's just amazing. Slugs it out with Logan and Marche. Other wow, triangle blows being traded here. Nobody's gaining the advantage here. Marche kicked in the forearm by Chris Logan. As amazing ducks kick to the gut. Throws him into Marche. Knee to the head. DDT on Logan. Goes for the cover to count. Amazing goes for the cover on the champ. Two. Kendra complaining. I said, maybe uh, Just Amazing covered the wrong guy first, but Logan got wrench. Well, not quite a gut. It's not gut wrench, but he just threw him over his shoulder. And Logan measures Marche Rocket and power slam. This may do it! Two count! And no, this promotion was not named after Marche. As tempting as it sounds. Do I acknowledge the passing of one Chris Sins? He was in great condition last month. He did not have much time left, unfortunately. We knew that he was going to pass much sooner rather than later. And that was the case over Labor Day weekend. Of course, we had taped the commentary before uh, he did pass away. He had passed away during Labor Day weekend as Logan kicks Marche down to the mat. So condolences to the Limp family. He was an avid gamer after uh, retiring from the ring. Off the ropes. Look at, oh look at that! Just amazing! Hits the C4! And it's only two! And he cannot believe it! Kendra can't believe it! I can't believe it either. And that was, we don't see that very often anymore. The C4. It's been a long time since I've seen somebody do that maneuver. And it's usually CJ Esparza, but I haven't seen him do that lately. Amazing to the top. High cross body and he was caught. 
He was caught! Play Buster! Fireman's carry into a plane buster. And Logan gets the three count, retains the title. And I think somebody missed their cue. And somebody. I think that was a bit of a stretch. Somebody missed their cue. It's like I'll have to do it. I don't dance the winner. Here. Here's your winner and still Rocket Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion, the Shogun, Chris Logan. 10 minutes and 40 seconds. Winner by pinfall. And Chris Logan will defend the Rocket Pro Wrestling Heavyweight title in a last ride match against Moshe Rocket in Joliet, October 2nd. So there will be another meeting between Logan and Rocket in just a couple of weeks up in Joliet. Kind of an interesting matchup to uh, kick off their uh, Darkness Falls Halloween based show. Yeah, the loser has to be stuffed in the hearst. Amazing. Showing good sportsmanship for Logan, but yeah, this weekend I'll be at Pinfall Wrestling in Springfield at the 8th Street Gym. And Marche comes in, nails Logan, and has to get the parting shot. Get your parting shot. Well, they're gonna face off again. Last ride match. Anyway. Pitfall Wrestling in Springfield. Parting shot. Zero One Supreme in Mattoon. Southern Illinois Championship Wrestling in East Karen Dullet. Most of the shows happening uh, this weekend. Hope to see you at one of them. Yeah. The promotions have to put in the line. That's required, but nobody is going to be playing mass police, so don't be afraid to show up. Just have a mass candy, but you can put it away as soon as you take your seat. That'll do it for this edition of PWCI this week. I'm Mac and the Crime Fighter. Don't know what I'll feature next week, but enjoy anyway. We'll see you later. Bye.